as you're reading the known universe content page number 13 and you're making your study guide your notes there's a couple topics that i want to revisit and just try to clear up for you a little bit so in this note page it talk about the distances between things and, and how large you know the universe is how big is it so they talk about they talk about light years so let's talk about light years and try to understand that concept, all right, how big this is. Light years are, or I should say not light years, let's just talk about one light year. That's the distance light can travel in one year. That's about six trillion miles, give or take. That's because the speed of light, we call that C, Speed of light is about 300 million meters per second, which is about, that's equal to about 184,000 miles per second, not per hour, per second. It's very, very fast. Let's just think about how fast that is for one moment. Let's say that you wanted to travel around the Earth. You want to go from the North Pole, go all the way around it, and end up back at the North Pole. That's about 25,000 miles, right? That would take you a very long time if you're traveling by an airplane or a car. But if you were going as fast as the speed of light, as fast as light travels, you would get there in less than half a second. It's very fast. Light is extremely, extremely fast. But let's think about this. Scientists have said that when you look out at the stars or at another galaxy, you're seeing things as they look in the past. Well, what the heck do they mean by that? Let's think about this example. Let's say I take a picture on an old time camera of myself, I take a selfie and I print it out, right? Something that I don't know if many people do anymore. But if I wanted to send that picture, if I'm in New Jersey, let's say I wanna send it to my cousin in Texas, right? If I want to send that picture to my cousin, I'll have to mail it. It's a real physical picture. The way I mail it is I have to print out the picture. I give it to the mail person and the mail person takes it and drives it to my cousin. Let's say that truck is going about 60 miles per hour, right? Since Texas is so far away, it's going to take at least one day, maybe two days for that picture that I took to get to my cousin in Texas. So let's say it took one day. When my cousin gets that picture of me, they're not going to see what I look like at the same time that they get the picture. They're going to see what I looked like in that picture one day in the past. Right? So if I send a picture and it takes a day to get to my cousin in Texas, they're not going to see what I look like right now. They're going to see what I look like when I took that picture one day ago. They're going to see into the past. That's because it took a long time, uh, a day, for that picture to travel to my cousin. So let's think about that in terms of things in space, right? The light that bounces off of the moon, the moon is pretty close to us in terms of space. That light that bounces off the moon, traveling the speed of light, is going to take about one second. It takes about a second and a third, but it takes about a second. So it comes really quick. Now further away is the sun. The sun is emitting rays, waves of light, and when they get to where I am right now, where you are, it takes about eight minutes. It's about eight, oh, I'm not sure why my uh, pen here is lagging. It takes about eight and one third minutes. So traveling at the speed of light, you know, going 300 million meters a second, 184,000 miles a second, it takes light eight minutes to travel from the sun to us. That means that when you look up at the sun, I don't recommend staring right into the sun, but when you look up at the sun, you're seeing it, what it looked like eight minutes before, because it took the light that it emitted eight minutes to get to you. So if it shot a beam of light, it would take eight minutes for that light to hit your eyes. So if the sun, let's say, suddenly imploded on itself, just went black, stopped shining, we wouldn't know for eight minutes. The light that it emitted would still take time to send to us, and then all of a sudden, after eight minutes, we would see what the sun looked like. So we're actually seeing the sun in the past. Now to apply that to bigger spaces. If you look 
at our Milky Way galaxy. Let's say our sun is here. Our star, we call it the sun, is here. The closest other star to us in our galaxy is 4.3 light years away. That might not seem that far, but remember, that's if you're traveling the speed of light. If you were going this fast, it would take 4.3 years to get there. Now, let's say you wanted to leave the Milky Way galaxy and go over to the galaxy that's closest to us. That's called the Andromeda galaxy. Guess how far that is from us? 2.5 million light years. I'll just write L-Y. So if you were going the speed of light, it would take 2.5 million years to get there. Now, our galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy are part of uh, a cluster of galaxies. And there's tons and tons of clusters of galaxies. There's trillions of galaxies out there. And they're really far away. So when scientists look out into the sky with different kinds of telescopes and technology, they want to figure out, well, what's the furthest away thing? If they can figure out what's the furthest away, what like the first thing was that was ever made in our universe, then we can figure out how old the universe is. So let's say it's this. When scientists find the thing that's the furthest away at the edge of the universe, there's nothing past that, they realize that it's 13.5 billion light years away. That means that if you are looking, let's say you're on Earth, and you're looking up at that object in the sky, it took the light that's being emitted from that object 13.5 billion years to get to your eye. So that means that when you look at it, you're not actually seeing what it looks like at that very moment. You're seeing what it looks like 13.5 billion years ago. At that present moment, it could look totally different. It might have even exploded or gone away or, or moved. But when you're looking at it, you're actually looking at it 13.5 billion years in the past because that's how long it took the light to get to your eyes. I'll remind you, remember back to the first example. If I took a picture of myself and printed it out and sent it to someone far away, when they got it, they wouldn't see what I looked like at that very moment. They'd see what I looked like when I took the picture, which was in the past, because it took time for it to get to them. Light is the same. Since light has a speed, light doesn't travel instantly. If we look at the oldest object in the sky, we're seeing light from it that took 13.5 billion years to get to us. That's a very large, very big universe.